Hello children. How are you all? I am back with my next online video. Can you recognize these famous cartoon characters? Yes. They are Aladdin and Jasmine. Aladdin had a magic carpet which he used for traveling here and there. He also had a genie who used to fulfill all his wishes. I know children, you all must be wishing to have a genie in your life who could fulfill your dreams and desires too. In this video, I am going to narrate a story of a small boy named Jack who had a magic paintbrush. You all want to listen to this story? Now it's story time. There was a small boy, Jack, who loved to draw. But he was too poor to buy pens, pencils or colors. So he drew pictures in the sand and he used stones, sticks or even his fingers for drawing pictures. Once Jack was drawing pictures on the river side, an old man saw and asked him to fill colors in his pictures. But poor boy Jack replied sadly that he had no money to buy colors. The old man after hearing this felt bad for the young boy. So he gave him a golden paintbrush. Jack was very happy now and he also thanked the old man for that golden paintbrush. The next day, Jack painted a duck using his new paintbrush. As soon as he finished drawing, the duck came to life. And from the paper, it flew off into the pond. Jack then realized that the paintbrush was not an ordinary one. It was a magic paintbrush. Jack was a kind and generous boy. So, he painted pictures help the poor and needy. He painted a bullock for poor farmer, food for the needy and also toys for the poor children. Now when the king heard about the magic paintbrush, he soon ordered his soldiers to find Jack and bring him to his palace. When the soldiers found Jack, they ordered him to come with them to the palace and paint some money for the king. But Jack refused because he helped only the poor and needy and the king was already so rich and wealthy. On hearing his refusal, the unkind soldiers forcefully took him to the palace. The king ordered Jack to paint a bag of gold coins for him. But Jack, without any fear, said no to him. The king got very angry 
ask the soldiers to log Jack in the prison. Inside the prison room, Jack thought of an idea. He used his paintbrush and painted a key which opened the lock of the room. He also drew a horse on which he could ride away. When the soldiers tried to catch him, he quickly painted a hole on the ground and the poor soldiers, they fell into it. Now Jack was able to run away from there. So dear children, in this story, you saw how a small boy Jack helped the needy and the poor through his magic paintbrush. Instead of drawing luxurious house, fancy clothes, or fascinating things for himself, he chose to help the needy people. Dear children, you all don't have any magical paintbrush or magical powers. But still, you can also help the poor and the needy. Now you all must be thinking, how? Dear children, you can help them by giving them moral support, showing heartfelt humility and showing your love, care and concern towards them. You can also help them by providing groceries that can end their hunger, providing them blankets and woolen clothes, giving them your unused books, notebooks and stationary items. These are few ways by which you can help the poor and needy. Now children, let's read the story. Children, this is lesson number two of your English textbook and the name of the lesson is the magic paintbrush. Let's go through the first few lines of the lesson. Jack was a small boy who loved to draw but was too poor to buy pens, pencils or colors. So he drew pictures in the sand with stones or sticks or even with his fingers. Now let's understand the meaning of these lines. Now children, as you all know, this story is all about a small boy named Jack. Now in the first line you can see, word is written S-M-A-L-L -L, small. Now children, can you quickly tell me what is the opposite of small? Yes, big. Jack was a small boy who loved to draw. So what did Jack love? He loved to draw. But he was too poor. Now here you can see a word T-O-O. Two is written. Now this two means very. Jack was very poor to buy pens, pencils or colors. 
here children you can see the plural form of pen plural form of pencil and plural form of color is written so jack was a small boy he loved to draw but he was very poor to buy pen pencils and colors so he drew pictures in the sand with stones or sticks or even with his fingers now as you have already seen jack he was too poor he was very poor to buy pens pencils or colors so now the question is what did he use for drawing pictures Now in the next line it is given he drew pictures in the sand you all use paper you have art notebook in which you draw pictures but jack was very poor boy so he drew pictures in the sand now children you can see a word d r e w drew is written now you all must be wondering that you have heard a word draw now from where this word drew has come children let me bring into your notice that this drew is nothing but the past form of the word draw this story has already taken place so past form of draw is written which is drew so jack drew pictures in the sand and what did he use for drawing pictures he used stones sticks or even his fingers for drawing the pictures now children let us read the next few lines of the lesson once jack was drawing a picture on the river side and old man saw him and asked would you like to fill colors in your picture i don't have the money to buy colors jack replied sadly here's a brush for you the old man gave him a golden paint brush jack was delighted thank you he said with a pleased smile now i can draw pictures for people to make them happy now children let us understand the meaning of these lines now in the first line once jack was drawing a picture on the river side that means one day what happened jack was drawing a picture on the side of the river and 
old man saw him and asked would you like to fill colors in your picture now while jack was drawing a picture on the river side an old man saw him now children you can see an is written before the word old now you can quickly recall the use of a and an an is used before the words beginning with a vowel sound and the word old it is beginning with a vowel sound so an is used before the word and old man saw him now children saw is also the past form of the word see asked now again children asked is also the past form of ask we've just added ed to change it into the past form and what did the old man ask would you like to fill colors in your picture that means the old man saw jack drawing pictures on the river side and the old man asked him whether he liked to fill colors in his picture i don't have money to buy colors jack replied sadly now he was very sad and why he was very sad because he did not have money to buy colors now children don't is written over here which is a contraction it is a short form of the words do not now jack replied replied means answer you can see the old man is asking question so in return of the question what do you do you give an answer similarly jack also replied he answered to the question that the old man asked here's a brush for you now children again here's is also a contraction of the words here is brush the children you've heard of so many brushes like toothbrush hair brush but in this story you will be hearing about the paint brush the old man gave him a golden paint brush now children again gave is written gave which is the past form of the word give now what did the old man give he gave a golden paint brush jack was delighted the children repeat the pronunciation of this word with me delighted now what is the meaning of the word delighted delighted means happy and why was jack delighted or happy because he received a golden paint brush from that old man so he was very happy he was delighted thank you he said with a pleased smile now children when somebody gives you something then what do you say you say thank you similarly after receiving the golden paint brush jack also said thank you to that old man with a pleased smile now pleased is also the past form of the word please now i can draw pictures for the people to make them happy so you can see what did the jack answer he answered that he could now help the poor the needy people and then hi pictures for them now children let us go through the next few lines of the lesson the very next day 
Jack painted a duck using his new paintbrush. As soon as he finished, the duck came to life and flew off the paper and onto the pond. Wow! He said, this is a magic paintbrush. Now children, let us understand the meaning of these lines. The very next day, Jack painted a duck using his new paintbrush. Now as you saw in the last slide, an old man gave Jack a golden paintbrush. And after taking that brush, Jack was delighted. He was very happy. So the very next day, Jack decided to paint something. And what did he paint? He painted a duck using his new paintbrush. Now children, you all have studied different sounds of animals. Now what is the sound of a duck? Yes, a duck quacks. And what is the young one of duck called? Exactly, duckling. Now what happens next? As soon as he finished, the duck came to life and flew off the paper and onto the pond. Now as soon as Jack finished drawing the duck on the paper, what happens? The duck came to life. Now what does this mean? Came to life means it became alive. It had life in it. And after having life, it started flying. Now children, flew is written. Flew is nothing. It is just the past form of the word fly. O F F off. Off means moving away from something. The duck flew off the paper. It moved away from the paper and where did it go? It went onto the pond. Onto means to land on something. So the duck, it flew off the paper and onto the pond. Wow! He said, this is a magic paintbrush. Now, after seeing that duck, Jack realized that this paintbrush is not an ordinary one. It is a magic paintbrush. Now children, let us read these lines. Jack was a kind boy. He began to paint pictures for the poor people in the village. He painted a pull-up for the poor farmer who was plowing the land himself. He painted food for the needy and toys for the poor children. Now let us understand the meaning of these lines. Jack was a kind boy. Now as you know, Jack who received a magic paintbrush from the old man, he 
was a very caring and generous boy. He was a kind boy. Kind means very caring, very generous boy. He began to paint pictures for the poor people in the village. Now, began. Began is also the past form of the word begin. To paint pictures for the poor people in the village. Now, in the first line, as it has been already written, that Jack was a kind boy. And why he was a kind boy? Because he never thought of himself. He always used to think about the happiness of others. Began painting pictures for the poor people in the village. He painted. Painted also is the past form of paint. We just added ed to change it into the past form. A bullock for the poor farmer who was plowing the land himself. Now the farmer, farmer is a person who grows crops for you. So the poor farmer who are plowing the field. Plowing means turning the soil upside down, making the soil ready to grow seeds into it. So the poor farmer who was plowing the land himself, he painted a bullock for him. So that bullock can help him out in plowing the soil. He painted food for the needy and not only he helped the farmer, he also helped the needy people. He painted food for them and toys for the poor children. He also helped the poor children. So now you can see Jack who was a very kind boy. He helped the farmer. He painted a bullet for him. He painted food for the needy and also toys for the poor children. Now let us read these lines. The king heard about the magic paintbrush. He sent his soldiers to find Jack. Now children, as soon as the king heard about the magic paintbrush, what did he do? He sent his soldiers to find Jack. Now children, S-E-N-T, sent, is nothing but the past form of S-E-N-D, sent. So in this slide you can see what happened? The king heard about the magic paintbrush and he just ordered his soldiers to find Jack. Now children, let us read the next few lines of the lesson. Come with me, said the soldiers. The king wants you to paint some money for him, but he is already rich, said Jack. I only paint to help the poor people but the nasty soldiers took Jack to the king. Now let us understand the meaning of these lines. Come with me, said the soldiers. Now the king he sent his soldiers to find Jack. You saw this in the last slide. Now when the soldiers, they found Jack, the soldiers ordered Jack to come with them. The king wants you to paint some money for him. What did the soldiers say? They said that the king wanted him to paint some money for him. 
But he is already rich, said Jack. Now Jack, he answered, he replied that King was already so rich. So why did he need his help? I only paint to help the poor people. Now as you all know, children, that Jack was a generous, was a kind boy. He only helped the poor and needy. So he said that he only helped the poor and needy. And why did the king need his help? He already has so much of money with him. But the nasty soldiers took Jack to the king. Now nasty means unkind. As you all know, Jack was a kind boy, he was a generous boy. Now opposite of kind is nasty. The soldiers, they were not kind, they were nasty. So they forcefully took Jack to the king. Now children, in this slide, you can see the next few lines of the lesson. Let's do the reading of these lines. Paint me a sack of gold coins. The king shouted. Jack said bravely, no. The angry king ordered his soldiers to lock him up in the prison. Now let us understand the meaning of these lines. Paint me a sack of gold coins, the king shouted. Now as soon as Jack was presented before the king, the king shouts at him to paint a sack of gold coins for him. Now what is a sack? A sack is a large bag made from rough materials. So the king asked Jack to paint a sack of gold coins for him. This shows how greedy the king was. Jack said bravely, no. Now bravely means fearlessly, without any fear. Jack said no. And why did he say no? Because he always helped the poor and needy. And why would he help K who was so rich already, who had so much of money? The angry king ordered his soldiers to look in the prison. Now the king got very angry. He ordered his soldiers to lock him up in the prison. Prison is a room where criminals are kept. A person who does any crime. For that person as token of punishment, the prisons are made to lock them up. Now here word ordered is written. Now children, ordered means commanded over here. But you all can recall where else you have heard this word ordered? Yes, in mathematics, when you arrange the numbers in a particular order, in a particular sequence. So this ordered with the same spelling, with the same pronunciation can have two different meanings. One ordered means commanded, the other ordered means a particular sequence. So these type of words which have similar pronunciation, similar spelling but have different meanings. These words are called homographs. Homo means same. Okay? So these ordered, ordered word can be used in two different contexts. So you all will remember this. 
Now children, let us go through these last few lines of the lesson. First, let's do the reading of these lines. Inside the prison cell, Ak used his paintbrush to paint a key for the lock and a horse. He could ride away on. When the soldiers began to chase him, he quickly painted a hole on the ground. The soldiers fell into this hole and Jack was able to escape. Now children, let us understand the meaning of these lines. Inside the prison cell, Jack used his paintbrush to paint a key for the lock and a horse he could ride away on. Now what happens? The king ordered his soldiers to lock Jack in the prison. Now once he was locked in the prison cell, cell is nothing but room only. Over here prison cell is written which means the room where Jack was kept. Jack used his paintbrush to paint a key for the lock. Now what did he do? He painted a key for the lock which was put in the prison room and a horse he could ride away on. He also painted a horse on which he could sit and ride away from there. When the soldiers began to chase him, he quickly painted a hole on the ground. Now, when he tried to move out of the prison room, the soldiers, they began to chase him. Now chase, C-H-A-S-E, chase means to run after. You all must have seen policemen chasing the thieves. They run after the thieves to catch them. Similarly, over here also the soldiers, they were running after Jack to catch him. So they were chasing him, running after them. He quickly painted a hole on the ground. Now Jack, what did he do? He again used his magic paintbrush and he painted a hole on the ground. Hole means a deep pit in the ground. Now after painting that deep pit, let's see what happened. The soldiers fell into this hole and Jack was able to escape. Now the soldiers who were chasing Jack, they fell into this hole and Jack was able to escape. E-S-C-A-P-E -E. Escape means to run away from there. So the soldiers, they fell into the hole. Now there was nobody who was after him. So Jack was easily Jack could easily escape from there. Now children, I would like to bring into your notice one more thing. Word H-O-L-E Hole means a pit. Now one more hole you have heard of? Yes. W-H-O-L-E Hole. Both have the same pronunciation but they have different spellings. One is H-O-L-E hole. The other one is W-H-O-L-E hole. Now H-O-L-E hole means a pit. But W-H-O-L-E hole means something which is very like complete. So these two words which have similar pronunciation 
different spellings and different meanings. These type of words are called homophones. Homo means same, phones means sound. That means they are having the same sound but different spellings and different meanings. In the last slide, I told you about the homographs which had the same pronunciation, same spellings but different meanings. So they were homographs and these are homophones. So you all will remember this. Now children, let us go through the meaning of the difficult words. Now the first word is plowing, which means turning up the soil with a plow. Plow is an instrument which is used by the farmers. Next word, needy, which means needful. Next, nasty. The soldiers, they were very nasty, which means they were unkind. Next word, chase. Chase means follow. Next word, escape. Escape means to run away. Thank you children. I shall see you soon.